Well, what can I say about the 140 that I've not said before? I've now done nearly 4,000 miles in this car, and since the last time I did an update, I've actually taken it to Heathrow, it's been to Goodwood, it's been on some really long journeys, and I know the boring thing is the MPG, but I've got it up to really high 30s, low 40s on those runs, but instead of looking backwards and talking about this car, which, I mean, <sighs> I adore it. That's all I'm gonna say is I adore it. The power is addictive, the way that it drives is phenomenal, but you already know that. So instead, let's look forward, because since the last time I gave a 140 update, I'd never driven the two litre four pot that's gonna be going into the next 135. Then 135 hadn't actually been announced properly. It was just all hearsay. So, since my last update, I have driven the X2 M35i, and I've also seen the new 135i in flesh down in Dublin. And well, what are my thoughts? That six cylinder is going to be sorely missed. And that's not a bad thing, I suppose, because BMW, like many brands, have to really move with the times. It's the way things are going, unfortunately. Look at the Mercedes A35, the Golf R, those sort of likes, and that's where the new 135 is going to be pitched. It's not really fair to compare it to this car because it's not really a direct comparison to this. But what of the X2 then? So the M35i has the same 2 litre 4 cylinder that's going into the 135. And I had that car for four days, so I've had plenty of time to get used to it. And I have to say, my honest opinion is I think it's a great car. In the X2, maybe it's questionable having that engine and having a high powered X2, you probably wouldn't go for that. But it forms the base of the 135, and if the M35i X2 is anything to go by, the new 135 is going to cover ground much quicker than this car. 140 because that X drive system is fabulous, but so much more composure when thumping along some B roads. Yes, it hasn't got the same tune, it has it doesn't sound like this, it doesn't howl, it just it burbles, it, it makes a few pops and things like that, but it hasn't got the same character and the same soul as this car, which if we're all honest with each other, it was never going to have. Now, what of the look? Now, I know the 135 has been very, very controversial where well, the look of it is. So, just a bit, of, a bit of a straight there. Um, it's very, been very, very controversial and hasn't really been widely accepted very well. However, seeing the car in person from my initial reaction, which, if I'm completely honest, was the same as everybody else, I think it looks great. In person, it's got a real attitude to it, and the rear end especially looks fantastic. And the interior of the new car is leaps and bounds ahead of the one in here. Now, this isn't obviously a bad thing because the interior in here is great, but the new one, yeah, the new one is something completely different. It's really great. It, it emulates the new 3 Series, and the new 3 Series is one of the best interiors of any BMW ever. But yeah, I, can't, I cannot wait to get hold of one of those cars because it's just going to be, it's going to be just so interesting to really have the direct comparison between using this obviously every single day and then the 135. But this car is now gone. All of the 140i's are gone. You can't now get them brand new. They stopped production and the new 1 Series will replace it very, very soon. Well, hopefully we'll have one arrive with us at the end of September, start of October. But yeah, one final word on this car. You wouldn't think that it would get under your skin as much as it has. Now I'm very, very fortunate to drive a great many cars and nothing, nothing I've ever driven or ever owned has got under my skin like this. I adore it. I love this car, it's taken on a personality of its own 
and I for one am a big believer in cars that can really just they come alive and they just you love them it's really hard to explain if you're not a car person but for those of you who are you'll know what I'm talking about there's just something about them they really do become part of the family and this car this car unlike anything else I've ever driven or anything else I've ever owned has done that for me it's become a member of the family and when the time comes it's going to be one of the most saddest things I've ever done to get rid of this and it's just such a B-road bar stormer I mean we've got some really great roads around where I live and I mean it just absolutely covers ground beautifully well hops and skips and then it's got that real edginess with that rear wheel drive and all the power to the rear. I can talk about this car all day long. But yeah, my 4,000 mile update is that this car has gotten under my skin. Really gotten under my skin. I absolutely love it.